Today's podcast is with Alessandro Vergani. Ale is one of my good friends. We've been teammates on the Unicorn since 2018. We're also teammates on the Italian national team. Uh, an amazing guy, someone I really admire, one of the hardest workers uh, that I've ever been around. He became team captain. His first full year with the Unicorns, which is really something uh, universally admired and a great person and a great friend, Alessandro Vergani. You like that? Yes, I love it. I love it. I really love it. Nice. Look at that. Wait, I mean, you did, I'm a, you know. A thank you for having me first. first. Hey, thank thanks, you, for, thanks for coming on, giving up your Saturday morning, or what is it? Is noon. <laughs> Afternoon. <laughs> yeah. Saturday noon. To hang out on ah, the on the I podcast. One hundred percent this uh, then clean the house. <laughs> <laughs> what the people don't see is Nikki right off camera, ready for you to leave, so you guys have to go clean the house. So we'll <laughs> let this go as long as possible. Yeah, thank you. Uh, I appreciate that. <laughs> okay, good. I'll ask you a lot of questions. <laughs> I'm open. I'm open. Sorry, book. Nikki. I'm open. Book. Uh, Alessandro Vergani, one of my good friends, teammates since 2018. Yes. With this Rebecca Unicorns and then the Italian national team where we won these this pretty beauty, this rings. Beauty. Pretty rings. For me are I think like almost eight years of work I with the national team. Man, that's eight what years. I wanna ask you though. I guess let's go right into that because Okay. The Italian national team I, I think some people like from my YouTube channel might have seen the culmination of that because mm -hmm. we made that documentary the unlikely champion. Beautiful, Europe. beautiful, thanks, beautiful man. Yeah, and this amazing. was us winning the European Championship against Sweden. But there's a whole story where this <sighs> begins eight years ago. It started uh, when we lost uh, the European Championship uh, in 2013 yeah. against Denmark uh, in Milano. By the way, Vigorelli Stadium, uh, yeah. full of people. It were were like 5,000 people, 4,000 people, 5,000 really? people were packed. Wait, at, packed. at the stadium that yes. we were just at? Yeah. That's a imagine, great. imagine that, like full of people and uh, full of supporter. Oh, yeah. Because we beat uh, Spain in, in the group. It was okay, okay-ish, yeah. like more than 1,000 people. It was okay for the like a crowd in, uh, mm -hmm. in Italy. Uh, we had like a, like a amazing game against uh, England. Yeah. That we we were losing uh, with one minute left on the on the board on the on the on the time clock yeah. uh, and we were like fourth and twelve uh, from uh, the thirty yard line. And you guys win from that. We won. We wow. won. Like uh, with Chazuli, Rocky, like oh, yeah. grab like two fades. We we run two fades. Bam, fade, grab it, uh, fifty yard. Uh, we we were like uh, oh, I don't know, like 40, 40 seconds left. Yeah. Second fade on the ten year line, and we have like a what's the name of the route for the where the running back is like doing oh, the wheel swing or wheel, wheel a yep. wheel <laughs> like we did a wheel yeah the, from the tight end yeah. like wheel oh wheel. yeah tight end wheel basically I mean, who is the quarterback at this time uh, that time was uh, Tommaso Monardi Italian uh, Italian, yeah. Italian Italian we had. Uh, I think we had we had a couple of imports yeah. at the the time. Like Rocky, Chizuli, Rocky, Rocky Chazuli. They were uh, O line left guard. It was my rookie se a rookie of for the for the really? uh, for the national team. It was amazing. So this is 2013, 13. September okay. 2013. Okay. And after that, uh, we we play we we practice. Uh, from that point was the national team that we have right now. Okay. So we, uh, David Giuliano is uh, head coach yep. and uh, all the like uh, from 14, 15, uh, just practice. We had a tournament, uh, easy tournament. Yeah. Uh, we lost, of course, mm -hmm. uh, well, against, uh, against uh, who, who was there? Uh, I don't remember. It was just tournament, yeah. the friendly, yeah. friendly game. And uh, in 16, uh, we had uh, uh, your first game with the national team, 16, uh, against France mm -hmm. uh, uh, in the middle of nowhere of Italy, Castel Giorgio. Yep. And... Uh, yeah, it was a crazy game, and maybe uh, thinking about that, uh, it was uh, the game that changed uh, my life uh, because I met you, Cody, and, and, and Bruno, oh. and uh, from that point uh, we had a connection between, yeah. uh, between us. Uh, and the year after, I received a call from Jordan to come to the unicorns. To come to the unicorns because uh, Nikki, my wife uh, yeah. at that time, my girlfriend, she was studying in Karlsruhe. <laughs> she was studying Karlsruhe, yeah. doing a master thesis, uh, and uh, Speedy was talking me and her. 
Speedy is a recruiter. Yeah, Speedy is the recruiter. She's the recruiter. Cody is yeah. ex- the executor, but yeah, Speedy yeah. is the recruiter. <laughs> she she knows, and uh, she was like, uh, "Oh, she's studying car swim. Maybe we have a chance yeah. in Italy." And uh, family from that look at moment. that. I just saw Speedy comment to that on I think your Instagram post. Yeah. But that's like so crazy how something like that. You say, "Oh, his girlfriend's studying close. Maybe we have a chance to come yeah. up here." Like that. To get them up here, like that. and then it works. Yeah, yeah, that's a great point. 2016, that's a, a life-changing Absolutely. Uh, moment because now... What it was a, a life-changing, now? like, completely for... for, for like for, a trajectory okay. change. Oh, oh no, no, sorry. Okay. I was like... Uh, yeah, it was uh, like, uh, okay, the, where I decide to, uh, to have, like, to change my life at the university, so to put more effort in my study. Yeah. Uh, because at the beginning, uh, I had, like, uh, uh, I didn't want... I don't know what to do with my life, so I don't know. I was uh, like 20, 20, 25 years old. Young guy. We never, we don't know. Uh, we don't know. We don't know. We so don't know what to do. At that, at that point, okay, I just uh, won the championship with uh, with Rhinos Milano undefeated. Uh, I finished uh, my last couple of exams and uh, I played with Italy and uh, 2017 graduated. Uh, uh, bam, changed life. And, uh, now you're in Schwabisch Hall. Yeah. We are, in, we are uh, sorry. Yeah. Uh, we are we are in show each other. Yeah, man, it's it's crazy how just how life unfolds in ways that you just have no idea, yeah, no just, idea that you expect. You know, just you attend a game uh, yeah. and you meet some teammates uh, yeah. that can change your life forever. Yeah, look at that. Um, so then, so yeah, this was what that was 2016 then. Yeah, and then there was uh, yeah, some was, uh, more games. Yeah, we had the tournament uh, in Italy mm-hmm. against Serbia and Israel. Yep, and uh, we won against Serbia, and uh, so we were eligible. Eligible. Yeah. Uh, oh, perfect. Okay. Nice. Uh, for uh, <laughs> sorry, my English is not perfect. I have uh, like a strong Italian accent. <laughs> if you know, if you, I don't know if you can hear that. But sorry. <laughs> Trilingual. A beautiful Italian <laughs> accent, you mean? <laughs> and um, and uh, f- yeah, from that point, uh, we were eligible to play the A group. Uh, oh, yeah. Yeah, but uh, after that, uh, there were like a couple of uh, problems with the International Federation. Right, I remember so that. So if of, uh, New York, if of Paris, uh, Germany wanted to... Have control of the whole situation. Uh, good old Germany. Yeah. And uh, good old Germany. Yeah. And uh, so everything was uh, frozen for three years. Yeah, yeah. Delayed, frozen for yeah a long Two, time. Two three years, and, and uh, after that, uh, in 2018, we start again uh, practice with the national team, mm-hmm. and uh, the rest is history. So fr- uh, we we went to Austria, uh, Vienna. We beat Austria yeah. at home. Uh, and uh, after that, we beat uh, Switzerland in Milano and uh, France the, because of COVID. Uh, we win. We win, of course. <laughs> and uh, most important, the last game, uh, we dominate in Sweden. Uh, Man. 14, uh, 14 to 41. Yeah, that was so cool. That was so cool. And, like, I mean, for me, even though I'm, like, sort of an – outsider because you know I didn't grow up in Italy I became Italian you know on paper in 2017 but then there's a good handful of us guys on the Italian national team who would like this like Bruno and Cody and some of these other guys Mike Luke but I was blown away at the Italian national team that experience of being a part of that the yeah it's like tough to explain because I've been a part of football teams for so long but like when we had the camp at was it La Spezia at the La military Spezia. base, and every day in the morning you have, you have to to stand up and uh, see the rise of the flag, yeah, and in silence and you have to uh, homage yeah. the flag, and mm-hmm. in the in the evening the flag will go down and you have to homage the, yeah. the flag going to bed. This was <laughs> the flag needs <laughs> eight hours to of rest. sleep, of course, just yeah, like us. Course. But that was actually such a good place for a, a camp be on the military base because then you see like the Italian flag and you recognize hey what are we practicing for it's to represent this country and this yeah. flag yeah, it's crazy. on the national or international stage and to if, be able to do if that if you think so the cool. the national team is a a call to war actually the yeah. italian national team is a is a opera is a is a song that you, you can you sing in, in opera yeah and uh, um it's um if you think it's uh, like a person that go in in public in the in a in a square and uh, ask the people to go to war for your country, 
and uh, that's the, the that's what it is. that's that's, that's, wow. that's the background okay. and uh, you have to uh, act uh, but because there are some part of the national team that you kind of speak uh, and there are part of the national team that you like scream you scream you this scream. is why you guys you are always screaming and at the end when you scream uh, we are we are ready to die we are ready we are yeah we are ready to die and go to to war for italy and it's uh this is why goosebumps, yeah. goosebumps, goosebumps and you goosebumps. can see it and it's always such a special thing when the italian national anthem plays before these games and uh for like anyone who hasn't seen it, you can watch it in that that video. I'll link it in the description of when when that part comes around and everybody starts s screaming so passionately. It's like, oh shit, Italy's ready. Yeah, and uh, that's the moment that I, that I switch off. Yeah, that I switch on. Honestly. Yes, yeah. every time, boom, national team, switch on. Uh, national team anthem. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, thank national anthem. Thank, yeah, yeah. Thank, thank yeah, you. There it is. Thanks, thank you, thank Pazzettino. You. Um, yeah. So. We win that game in Sweden after a long journey of, I mean, you were the captain of the national team. You were one of the, you with guys like Kecko, I think Zio, some of these really long-term guys on the national team yep. get this experience. It was so cool for me having even not been a part of it for that long. What did it mean to you to win that European championship? To get you, you, mentioned, you mentioned Zio. Zio never won a final. He participated... Uh, uh, too many finals, uh, so many finals, yeah. and the Italian with the Italian national team was uh, the first final that he won. That's so. And awesome. uh, seeing his eyes during the game, uh, that it was, uh, I know that we are we were gonna win, yeah. and uh, but we want to 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 keep it down, to focus, stay focused on everything, uh, and uh, I saw in his eyes every time I was I was watching him and smile, yeah. but like uh, like. Uh, uh, naughty smile. Uh, that was like, <laughs> a mischievous man, like, hey, man, stay we, focused, we, we are, we are, we are kicking that asses, man. We are ah, kicking that asses. And uh, and uh, I know, uh, and I saw him. He was like, kind of smile for a like, brief second, and like going back to Fox. But I was like, it was so fun because even I think on the first touchdown it was a run play. Mike ran power it in. Right. Power right. Yep. With uh, the Fra Francesco Runco kicking, oh, yeah. kicking uh, and uh, double team, uh, me and Kekko so, uh, going to a second level uh, to the linebacker and uh, Mike going untouched. Beautiful. In the, in the, for, I was like tw more than 10 yards. Yeah, it was like sure. 15, 18, 15, 15 maybe? yards untouched yeah. in the end zone. Yeah, it was beautiful. And then Mike came off and was super hyped and uh, said some things that made me feel very confident because the defense, we hadn't gotten on the field yet. And yeah, it was uh, the first, first drive. Yeah. Normally, uh, for me, it's not so so common that the, the first drive you go in and kick immediately. Yeah, it needs and, a little time. Uh, and do the touchdown. It needs like, okay, the first drive or a yeah, good catch, a good run. But going all the field, running, 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 and, and score immediately, oof, yeah. it gives you good vibes. <laughs> yeah, good vibes. It was great right off the bat. So then we go, we win that game. Uh, so, so awesome. I just, oh, I wanted to ask because you said uh, – uh, Francesco Ronco, Ronco he, yeah. he just signed with the Simon Milano. Yeah, yeah. Milano Simon. What do you think uh, about the Milano Simon ELF team? How do, how do you how do you feel about that? What do you think? Uh, mm, you want the Rhinos version or uh, Alessandro Vergani's version? Uh, not being a Rhinos Milano. Oh yeah, because this we is had, we had this a huge rivalry. Yeah, a huge rivalry. Okay. I have a lot of friends yeah. in the in the team. Okay, yeah, and. Uh, I lost a uh, couple of finals with them, against them, so they're not your favorite team. No, they are not my favorite team. No. They're not my favorite yeah. team. Understandable. But uh, it's good for Italy to have uh, a team like that in the ELF that yeah. can represent uh, Italy. I'm, I'm very, I'm a proud Italian. Yeah. Super. Uh -huh. I, I, I love uh, my yeah, country. Me too, man. Like I, I love my country. I love my country. Come on. <laughs> Fortunately, I didn't. I didn't wear the same T-shirt because <laughs> I, were, I, I want to wear the same, yeah. same T-shirt. I'm, I'm sweating. Yeah, uh, it's, it's okay. It's Gray is bad for sweating. You'll see. I'll get it's it. It's bad. I'll get it soon. It's bad. It's yeah. bad. But um, yeah, I'm very happy for Francesco, yeah. and uh, he's gonna have like a, a great, a great, uh, a great year next year. Uh, yep. He's a he's a good ball player, man. He's, he's a he's. It's a, like an amazing guard, uh, yeah. more than a take-all. He's very, very good uh, a guard, as a guard. Uh, being a guard, Hip, as yeah. guard, yeah. 
Did we play because he played um, in Saarland. Saarland, we Saarland played against him two times. Yes, that's that's where the where uh, where I saw him uh, the first time. Say, man, he's nasty. I like yeah. him. He's nasty. I like, he's nasty. He's nasty. I nasty. like him. He is. When you see our all line that is nasty and then uh, like super like pump up and uh, going to field uh, and want to put uh, the defensive end on the ground every single time and like yeah. back and everyone yeah. and um, and uh, Coach Rote actually told me yeah he's Italian uh, 55 yeah. he's an Italian 55 uh, like you uh, I say what is Italian so I talked with him at the end of the game and uh, I text Davide Giuliano immediately and say hey we the, there is a whole line yeah. in uh, there is Italian oh, I didn't know that this so yeah. he, his involvement with the national team just started that last yeah. year once you yeah. saw it. yeah that's awesome he but he, he, he committed so so much because he participated he took like train midnight yeah. like, overnight train uh, to go to the camp uh, and everything and uh, during uh, the camp uh, he was kicking asses yeah he was great man this is one thing back to the italian national team is when we have these these camps and what everybody goes through to get to the camps like people are coming from northern germany all over southern italy all yeah. over and usually they're sort of in the northern area of italy but it not, is a, not getting not getting uh money back from yeah, no uh, money back. Time. you you invest money yeah absolutely uh one second we just got yeah. a doorbell ring i'm trying to s don't worry let's see if, if uh if mars texts me because he needs to trade the car with me but... no Okay, one second. Don't worry. You're crushing. I'm crushing? Hell yeah. Yeah, apart that you said always national team instead of national okay. team. Okay. Okay. He can... Uh, he can already yeah. say like a post... Uh, post edit. Okay. okay. But yeah, you can edit yeah. uh, when I say national team. But oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. It's okay. People will... will know. I'll put a little uh, asterisk, like yeah. national anthem. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Ah, this is fun. I like doing this. What? <laughs> wait. Okay. What were we just talking about? The the, the friend that we oh, we were like uh, traveling to the national traveling team to national team, and uh, I I do did that since uh, two thousand ten actually when yeah. uh, when I had my first camp in Bologna yeah. when I met Kekko and Zio. Mm -hmm. That's that was October two thousand ten. That 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 month changed my life. Yeah. Her. Like twelve that, years that, ago now. Uh, 2010 uh, October when I met Nikki and uh, when I started doing uh, going to the national team mm -hmm. and I met uh, my love live uh, friend and uh, wife. Oh, this is uh this is an important time, huh? Yeah, yeah. Oh, October yeah. 2010. October 2010. Okay, this crazy. is a very important crazy. month. Crazy, crazy. Man. Um yeah, it's like even uh, just thinking to when you me and Cody would drive down to the camps last year and it's like drive from Schwebusch Hall down through Italy, all the tolls, through the Alps, get down to practice, and have mm. practice at 8 p.m. Like, straight out of the car. Like, uh, we, we arrived like 15 minutes before <laughs> the, the, the practice, uh, the, the starting of the practice. Uh, yeah. And uh, I remember clearly Davide screaming at us, you're late, <laughs> you are late. <laughs> it was like, Davide. Come on, David. I had like seven hours drive. We just drove down. We just right. arrived. Yeah. Give me like 10 minutes yeah. to think where I am, yeah. uh, what I have to do. Uh, I was so exhausted from that, but that's a, such a fun memory. And like just a good example of what people do to go to the camp. And uh, we, we are not the only one. Uh, no. Uh, there are uh, every everyone in the national team. If you are lucky, you will have like the... You, if you are lucky, you will have like the national the camp uh, in your city. Yeah, close. Yeah. You're lucky. Yeah. Good. That's great. Yeah. That's great. Yeah. Yeah. You're not lucky. You have to take a train <laughs> or drive. Like uh, you try to gather more people as possible yeah. in the car, so you divide the expense and, uh, and yeah, everything. Absolutely. Excuse me. And uh, and after that, uh, yeah, you go in the car, drive like four 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 a.m. in the morning, and uh, drive to the camp to be there at ten maybe. Oh yeah. You know the first one I ever did was with Nico Bang and Cody. I remember you, you arrived this? late, guys. We got at there at four a.m. for eight a.m. practice. Super late. Yeah, it was crazy. Nico, we left from Stuttgart at like five p.m. on a Friday. Who was playing with the with the Game Boy? Who was Someone, Cody. Cody. Cody yeah, was yeah, playing uh, with yep. the Game Boy. Cody with the Game the Boy. Yep. I remember the video. It was, it yeah. was fun. It was fun. So, but all so worth it. It ends with a nice ring. Yeah. Great ring. memories. Ring the lights. Hell yeah. Um, I want to talk a little bit about then. Your unicorns experience, 2018. Oh, you move, uproot your whole whole life, and move 
to Schwabish Hall. We moved. Yeah, you and Nikki both together. It was uh, July 2017. Okay. And uh, Jordan asked me, hey, we were in Cotton for a couple of weeks, uh, and uh, he said, Ale, do you want to to see a game? Yeah. It was a Frankfurt game. Mm. So <sighs> That's a good game. Not the worst one. Those are good games. <laughs> they, were, they are a good game, and oh. uh, we were in the, around the field. Uh, we, we saw Schwebischal. We saw Shebishal for the first time. It was a sunny day, and we were like uh, walking uh, along, along the river. We had breakfast. Uh, we saw this uh, beautiful. Uh, it was a picture. Yeah, it was a picture, like yeah. sunny with the landscape. It was amazing. Yeah. And uh, I, 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 I watched Nikki in the eyes and say, "Oof, I really like here." <laughs> yeah. I, honestly, well, I really like. Uh, we can think about moving for th- this this, this very image. landscape. Yeah. this very landscape where, like, of course, this is edited, but yeah. there is like a, a, the small island here yeah. in the middle of the river, and you walk on this side, uh, and uh, you watch this uh, this landscape. It's beautiful. Beautiful. Yeah. Beautiful. It hooks you. And after that, uh, we, we went to the game. Yeah. We attend the game. Uh, it was super fun. We attend also the post-game party. That was super fun. What and was that? Was that at in the, the park, in the parking lot? Parking lot uh, party. In the in Yeah, backward Cody and, and Speedy uh, and I yeah. used to love. Yeah. 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 And, and, uh, and in 2018, uh, we, we, I say, Nikki, I, I do, I'm doing like a uh, pra- practicum, practicum, like yeah. a stage, yeah. stage. Yeah. And uh, yeah, I, I was doing a stage. She was she she just finished uh, the master thesis, graduate, uh, uh, and everything. I say we don't have kids, we don't have war, we don't work here, and why not try give it a try? Yeah, maybe maybe it's good. Sometimes maybe good. Sometimes maybe shit. <laughs> <laughs> sometimes maybe cheat. good. Sometimes cheat. maybe shit. Cheat. And. Uh, <laughs> But we, we, we packed our car and uh, and we drove here. Yeah. Like Sunday, ge- 15th of January. 15th of January. It was fucking cold. It was <laughs> oh, yeah. cold. <laughs> you see. And I remember so that uh, we arrived at Daimler Strasse <laughs> and nobody was there yeah. uh, except for Jordan and uh, Roland. Yeah. The, uh, the, yeah, yeah. The, mm-hmm. the husband of and, and Ike yeah. and the house was cold uh, and <laughs> he watched me and said oh. I want to stay here yeah <laughs> How would yeah? Would you guys when you first got there and it's cold and freezing? And yeah, because they like, act, uh, they turn on the ice room. Yeah, the heating, the, the heating yeah, system it wasn't uh, on, and it wasn't on uh, for the last three months. And uh, from November when you guys left, yeah. uh, since uh, we were the first the first one in in January and it was cold, it, yeah. it took like a couple of days to Man. to to eat it up. Yeah. I remember this, like when I would stay a couple times at that apartment after the season, like once the season ends, they turn the heating off. They say, you could stay here, but the heating goes off. Yeah. So cold. You so could see cold. your yeah. breath in the kitchen. Yeah. So you like, yeah. it's crazy. Hoodie, hoodie, hoodie. Hoodie, hoodie, hoodie. Like yeah. <laughs> and then got like another little personal space yeah. heater or something. Yeah. Okay. So you get there, you have a very cold apartment. It's yes, depressing January. Oh. Did you regret, did you like, wait, this is. The first, not the first a good six idea. months was, uh, was kind of hard. Yeah. There you are. Yeah. Because you guys are looking for a job. For work. We are both yeah. engineer and uh, yeah. we want to work uh, because uh, the point was uh, okay playing football, but we want to have uh, like a starting point for our our life. So yeah. st- um, living together, living abroad, uh, not so far from Italy, where the level of football is good. Mm-hmm. Uh, Germany. Yeah. Yeah. And Jordan called us, uh, called me, and uh, we are we are here. And the first six months was. Kind of hard, yeah. Because uh, my level was not the highest when I arrive, and uh, I say, "Ooh, this is hard." Yeah. But uh, I love challenges, and uh, you do love challenges. I love challenges. You love challenges. Maybe too much. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, I uh, really love challenges. But the first six months, I lost kind of ten kilos because we were not eating a lot, like yeah. uh, rice and vegetables, and uh, we were we were fucking poor. You were in poor life. We ah, were man. in poor life. You guys were struggling. Yeah. Yeah, we were in poor life, and. Uh, but we were together. Yeah, that's good. You guys were together, but it's definitely an adventure. And we beginning. don't want to have like a help from our parents. Yeah, we want you want to, to be out and like, yeah. all right, we're we yeah. take this leap. We're yeah. gonna make it work. Yeah, yeah. And Going after in- that, uh, uh, I start working. Mm-hmm. So we moved in our own apartment uh, because we were living together in the in the in the import apartment. Yep. Mm-hmm. With, uh, it was me, you two, Yannick for a month. Yep. Uh huh. 
Fabian Speedy were Fabian in, Speedy uh, in uh, around their the own, corner. Uh, in their own. But uh, yeah, you you don't have like your a lot of personal space. No, uh, uh, no, it's you're, very you're sharing communal. A, a VG, a yeah, v, yeah. A VG. you're sharing the bathroom. It's a VG, yeah, yeah. It's a shared apartment. And uh, and yeah, after that uh, we move in our own apartment. And step by step, we. You made it work out. Yeah. You made it work out. Yep. And ju- I mean, for some people who don't realize that you came here and are playing football. Um, in the best team uh, in the best Germany, team in Germany. In, yeah. In the, uh-huh. At the time, because uh, you won back to back German ball. Uh, yeah. And I arrived in a whole line. Uh, I, and uh, there were like uh, Urmes, Rote, Mo, oh, yeah. Paddy, Graf, uh, starting all line that just won the German ball. Oh, yeah. And I'm uh, the outsider that won that spot. Mm-hmm. I won one of the spots. Yeah. I don't care. Yeah. Uh-huh. Which spot, but I want you to come in and compete. Yeah, yeah. I was ready to compete, yeah. uh, and uh, I arrived at, at a level from Italian level that, of course, it was not the best. Uh, right. I, at the time, I, I, I was one of the best O line. That's what I was saying. You were you were one of the best, if not the best O lineman yeah. in Italy. You come to Germany, yeah. and it's a different level. Yes, uh, faster, stronger. Uh, Technique, different techniques, mm-hmm. uh, and uh, step by step, I changed my technique. Mm-hmm. Uh, I changed the, spe- I increased the speed, uh, and uh, I work out uh, in, uh, in patchwork to improve the. In patchwork. <laughs> we love patchwork. <laughs> I love patchwork. Love it's, patchwork. Uh, it's the paradise. Yeah, and uh, um, and yeah, I I I was ready to play like as a starter, right? And uh, unfortunately. Uh, Daniel Graf had a shoulder injury, so I took his place. Uh, mm-hmm. And uh, it, um, and after he came back, uh, Matthias Urmers uh, injured his, uh, his ankle. Yeah. So I took his place as a left tackle. Mm-hmm. And the rest of the season, I played left tackle. So it was uh, August, uh, August, so the, from like playoff shoot, time. Playoff time. Yeah, yeah. So the, September, left tackle, all the playoff, uh, starting in the German ball, first play of the German ball, offside. Love it. <laughs> What is this? 2018 German 2018 Bowl, Frankfurt? German Bowl. You went offside. 55, <laughs> offside. <laughs> okay, I say, okay, okay, okay. My bad, my bad. I'm going to kick your ass. Okay. <laughs> and we go, and you did kick ass, and we won this game. And we won. Man, and we won. Uh, so how long How long was that while you, once you came and you were not a starter yet before one of them got hurt? How many, how many games did you play as not a starter? It's so weird for me to think about you not being a starter. Five. Five games where you were back up. Yeah. How was, was that How was that for you mentally? Coming from being top dog in Italy, and I know your Ooh. I know your personality and I know how competitive you are. How was it for you mentally? Um, every time I change team uh, in the past, uh, I I always wanted to uh, not imp- impose my 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 presence. Right. Step like be humble. Shut the fuck up. Yep. Close your mouth. Uh, do what you, they tell to you, you to do, mm-hmm. and uh, step by step, show that you can do, and you 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 are part of the team. Right. And that was the I, I came from top dog uh, to the last uh, from uh, the last player in the roster. Yeah. And step by step, uh, I being a whole line uh, is kind of easy. Yeah. Like uh, all line around the Europe are the same. Yeah. So. We are. We love it. We love to eat. Sorry. <laughs> we love to eat. Uh, we we like have fun. We we are funny. And uh, you have the shirt. I'm fat. Let's party. I'm fat. Let's party. I wanted to wear that uh, <laughs> for the interview, but uh, for the for the podcast. But uh, I was like, uh, nah, maybe too much. Like, uh, maybe too, too much. much. We'll talk too much. about but, it. Um, but yeah, we are we are kind of the same. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Kind There's of the, the O line personality. Yes. Yep. Yes. For sure. Yeah. For Absolutely. O line personality. And uh, and yeah, it was uh, it was kind of easy, like with Mo, with uh, with Paddy, Graf, yeah. Rote. I had the honor to play with with Christian Rote. It was left tackle, and it was uh, a left guard. And uh, after the 2018 season, he retired, yeah. and uh, uh, it was my coach. Yeah, that's so, so cool. From uh, from uh, teammates to be your player, it was awesome. That's really cool. And Rote had a legendary career. He's one of the. Th- one of three people ever in Unicorn's history to have his jersey retired at the stadium. He, he, des- played- he deserved it. Oh, hell he yeah. He deserved it. What he did? He played for 20 years. 20 years with the Unicorns. He retired at age 37? 28. 38 as an O-line. Yeah. That's a, a impressive. Yeah. And now he's the head coach. He's well, the head coach. Yeah. He's the yeah. head coach. Um, so you, yeah, you really had 
your work cut out for you in 2018, but then you, I mean, I remember, man, and we would talk about it. It's like, oh, Alessandro is getting better and better every game, yeah. every month, yeah. and like really becoming a top level O lineman in Germany. Yeah. And so then I would yeah. say after the 2018 season, you were established. And my, and my, and my first, and my first game was yeah. against Stuttgart. Yeah. And uh, the day before, I injured myself in the gym. Really? What'd yeah, you do? Uh, I kind of like uh, fell down, yeah. and uh, because there were like a rock, mm -hmm. and uh, I didn't see the rock on the ground that has like a like a oh yeah, like a little like a ledge or something. Yeah, it's, yeah. Uh, it was not a, not flat on yeah, the ground. Yeah, a little ledge. Or yeah, a lip. it was that high. I didn't know because it was black on black. Yeah, yeah. And I, uh, I was uh, barefoot. Yeah. And I and I fell and I hit the the, the rock with the with the middle of the foot Ooh. and uh, I couldn't walk. Did you play that game? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> of you course. Were so offended at the question. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> of course. How dare I, you I, ask? The you day that? the day of the game, I couldn't walk. Yeah. I I was so in painful. I said, man, don't be the boss. Yeah. <laughs> don't do it. <laughs> this I, is, man, go ahead. you you play. You're gonna be a starter today yeah. for the for the unicorns. Uh, okay, uh, it's Stuttgart, yeah. but. Uh, but this is what you worked for. Like, I you work, I'll let this stop you. Yeah. So, so how'd the game go? I had uh, one of the greatest games that I, that I could possibly have. Like I was like kicking asses. Yeah, I was so like awesome. uh, stretch. Uh, I can see like uh, more, more, more like with the with the right with the right eye. Uh -huh. Like see more, more approaching me from uh, from uh, for taking the, the right hand goal, and uh, I could see more, more running <laughs> on, so on the side. Great. It was it was amazing. It was amazing. What is what's your favorite play to run as an offensive lineman? Dive, dive, dive. And what is typically your responsibility on dive? As uh, depends. Like uh, the last German ball, uh, yeah. we had the. Uh, uh, a different, uh, not a standard defense. We okay. Four eye nose guard, four eye, mm -hmm. and uh, and there were like a three four. So you have more linebacker than the lineman. Right. And uh, my job was not to let uh, the the defensive end go inside. Okay. So if you have a four eye, it means that uh, it's, it's shaded uh, it's inside like of shaded you. inside you. Yeah. So you have to reach inside mm -hmm. and uh, play side. Uh, was kind of easy because uh, you have like the the support of the guard uh, that uh, you do a combo block and go to the second level. Yeah. Backside, uh, you have to reach him alone. So if you reach him uh, and avoid him to going inside, uh, so you have to be fast uh, going inside. Phew, autobahn. Yeah. Autobahn. <laughs> autobahn. <laughs> I love that. Do you prefer to? Play against a, a three four or a four three front. Four, four three. Four three. Four you would three. rather have four down linemen. Yeah, four three is so yeah. much easier. Really? So much. Why easier. is it hard? Because the linebackers are further away, and you can, and they can. There's just is more the space. is the angle and uh, the line, the linebacker normally are more athletic than O line right. in open field. So when you approach uh, on the first of all four three kind of standard, you can read the safety where they roll down yeah. or where, where they move. So they go, they roll down, so they're going to replace someone. Who is going to replace? The linebacker gonna, is going to blitz from outside mm -hmm. or from the inside. And uh, after that, uh, if you can read the safety, you can read the linebacker and you know the, the D line. Yeah. So if you, on 3-4, on the 3-4 is more co a little bit more complicated because the linebacker can switch uh, yeah. their the responsibilities and uh, they, it's a little bit harder to, to read. So you, you, don't, you don't know like 100% or 80%. Yeah. I like to read like 80% of the um, alignment of the linebacker and the line. On the 4-3, on the it's easier. Yeah, because they're right there. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay, makes sense. This is good. I, I, wait, I have a lot of questions about O-line. One okay. sec, let me... Uh, don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. Yeah. Don't worry, Just don't worry. Quick. <laughs> and we're back after some slight technical I wouldn't call adjustment. it difficult. Adjustment. That's, adjustment. That's the word, not difficulty. Adjustment. Okay. Adjustment. I just had to make sure the audio is coming. Okay. Offensive line. I feel like here's the thing. Offensive line is the least glamorous position in football. Least glamorous. The most glamorous is quarterback. These are you're the face of everything, and then skin, you know receivers, skin, skin, yeah. skill positions, yeah, skill positions, skill positions. Yeah. Offensive linemen. I think is the second hardest uh, position in uh, football. Yeah. 
What's yeah. the hardest to you? Quarterback. Oh, yeah, quarterback. Car- quarterback's the on hardest. A man, on a man, man, mental man college. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Quarterback is... You're yeah, on, on an island. Yeah, if yeah. you... Oh, you said corner. corner. Quarterback. Oh, wow. Okay, I can... Oh, yeah, yeah I can believe this too. Quarterback. Yeah. Corner. What did he say? I thought you said quarterback. Nah. Corner nah. is insane. Cornerback. Cornerback is uh, if you're on the man man coverage. Ooh. This is why cornerback has a very. We talked about O line has a, a, per, a personality type. Mm-hmm. Corner very often has a personality type of like really sort of um, like aggressive and uh, talk a lot of trash and mm-hmm. let nothing bother them because yeah. they have to have a short memory. Yeah, and, yeah, absolutely, you know? absolutely. If you miss a step, yeah. they burn you, and they, it's a touchdown uh, if the quarterback throw the ball to to, your, like, uh, to this wide receiver. If you mess up, maybe the running play gets a one yard TFL. Yeah. Maybe it's a sack. It's a, yeah. It's not. It's not as bad as when a cornerback messes up. It's a touchdown. Touchdown. Everybody sees you get burned, and it's so clear for even people who don't know about football. Yeah. Oh, he lost his battle. He sucks. Yeah. Like, but no, so it's, it's, it's hard. Yeah. Shout out to the quarterback. Shout out to the corners. But uh, yeah, also line is very, it's very hard. Oh yeah, it's absolutely. very hard because uh, you have to be heavy, intelligent, technical, and uh, you have to go against uh, uh, defensive line that uh, can uh, faster than you most yeah. of the time. Mm-hmm. Uh, and uh, yeah, yeah, it's very tr- and O line. I I believe I'm correct is you know the wonder lick test that NFL draft play uh, um, prospects they have to take it's the intelligence test oh, have yeah. you know have you heard of this I, I did uh, one time okay. oh did you yeah because uh, in, uh, in Canada when I did the combine oh, yeah, yeah, the CFL I, combine. I did, uh, I did uh, the test, yeah. same test I don't know the results honestly I'm sure it was great because of your genius brain but on average quarterbacks are typically the highest and O-line is next yep. of most intelligent players in the yep. football field yep. uh, and I think linebackers the least, you know, way down here. That's a running back. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, running backs and linebackers. Stupid. Uh, <laughs> both Alfieri's, I guess. <laughs> uh, yeah, but the O line is, uh, and it's, it just doesn't. It, it's you guys do the dirty work, and you yeah, don't get the, the the glory and the credit. If there's a what's uh, a ball? Yeah. I don't know what, what yeah. is a ball. I yeah. don't know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like uh, my my <laughs> my work is to avoid that the guy wants to 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 sack or take on the running back or the quarterback. Yeah. So okay. yeah. honestly, sometimes it's very easy because you have to if you understand the, the the game, you put yourself in the position where the defensive end yeah or defensive line should not like arrive the, at the at the running back or the quarterback. Mm-hmm. So. Say that. But of course, it's better. It's, it's easy to say not to do. Yeah, I know. Easier said than done, I would say. Okay. How about this? That one. In, uh, that's a good <laughs> saying. Easier said than done. In, for a receiver, dropping a pass is probably the worst feeling. For a linebacker, missing a tackle is probably the worst feeling. For a quarterback, throwing an interception is probably the worst feeling. What's the worst feeling for an offensive lineman? When they swim you. Oh, yeah. yeah. That, oh yeah. So you take a step. Uh, maybe you are in a position where uh, your your head is a little bit too low, and uh, you're not reactive with the with the with the step. Ooh, swim because it looks and you cannot do anything because uh, you he's, he already passed you, yeah. and you you the only thing you can do is this. Oh, so you see you get swimmed, and he goes and kills your quarterback. Yeah. That's a, yeah, that's got to be a bad feeling. Mm-hmm. All right, mm-hmm. That's good. Nice. I like, I like getting a little bit more insight into O-line. What's so crazy about football is, like, we play the same position. Or, sorry, sorry. We play the same, s- sport, the same sport. But I, our experiences are so different. And ours compared to Rudy's. The, read, the reading, uh, the, the technique. Uh, sometimes I, I, I don't speak with, uh, yeah. with, with uh, safeties for entire – Months, yeah, uh, uh-huh. or because uh, just like so uh, they are all on the other side of the field and uh, um, during practice, and you are right late to to the practice, so you you change, uh, you go directly warm up uh, or indies or something like that, uh, and you don't have the chance to speak with yeah. uh, with the 
with uh, I don't know a cornerback. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Of course, I try to speak every time with uh, with everyone. So with Cody, I try to trash talk to him every every <laughs> every single practice, this, yeah. or with you every. <laughs> I like every... when we trash talk. Huh? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> because uh, <laughs> it, it gives also the team uh, like the some uh, hey wake up yeah some wake energy. up don't be afraid on trash talking at practice mm -hmm. because. Uh, you trash talk with someone uh, and uh, I trash talk with, Ni with Nick every every single practice yeah. whether we have uh, uh, white on white green or yeah. green like the starters against starters and uh, we we trash talk every time so now if I'm gonna kick your ass yeah. I'm, oh, gonna yeah. I'm gonna kill you I'm gonna kill you bro gonna this kill is you. always so great when you can feel at the start of practice and you and I did this kind of a lot if the energy's a little bit down no one's really like getting chippy and stuff. It feels like everyone's tired of going to practice. You and I just you say, should. hey, Ole, I'm going to fucking kill you. Yeah. Let's go, five, five. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and, uh, and uh, I try to pancake him <laughs> and uh, I try to push him outside the field or like not touching my the running back. So, yeah. And uh, at the end of the game, on the, of the practice, boom, friend. Yeah. Easy. Yep. Just, yeah, just easy. brothers easy. right after. Or me and Riley this year. Yeah. Me and Riley this year, we, we have a couple of... Uh, Alteration, uh, no, altercations, no. altercation. Yeah, yeah. So, hey, Riley, fuck you, yeah. Riley, Ale, do your job, yeah. mind your own business. <laughs> and uh, the, the next short memory, next play, done. bam, yeah. done. But uh, this is like more, any, I think, an Italian. Uh, it is, it is exaggerated with the Italian yeah. blood as well. Yeah, it is an Italian thing yeah. because uh, the, there were sometimes I see like or or Jordan sometimes or other like teammates they say, why you fighting yeah. I said well, we're not fighting I just want to express my feeling against yeah. him and uh, and uh, we're done yeah. I it's I think it's a good skill to learn because it helps you. like obviously short in, memories in, yeah short memories and and uh, dealing with Absolutely. conflict with people that you care Absolutely. about Absolutely. you know Absolutely. Yeah. and also it's I mean obviously like in work situations in the office you can't be like no. hey I'm gonna fucking beat your ass no. but uh, you can but, learn uh, <laughs> you can learn how to deal with people yeah mm -hmm. I like it a lot um Going back now to your specific unicorns experience. Okay. Yep. 2018, your first year, you battled your way. That was a rookie. Yeah, that was your rookie, rookie year. year. Yeah, yeah. Rookie year. 2019. Okay, this is your first, uh, your second year. So sophomore. Sophomore year. Sophomore year. You I got voted as a captain. voted team captain. Yeah. Uh, it was uh, an honor. And it's still an honor. Yeah. It was a honor at that time. I didn't expect that yeah. because, uh, yeah, I was uh, hard work. I, I'm a hard worker. Mm -hmm. I don't. I work a lot. Work out a lot every day. Yes, you do. You every check day. out all his Instagram. I see that. Yeah, I am always in the gym. Yep. And uh, so I, I was just being myself. Yeah. And uh, it, this is transformed to lead by example. Yes. It's one of my favorite quotes. Mm -hmm. And uh, you don't have to, to scream to someone. So to say, hey, wake up. Uh, yeah. uh, you're doing a shitty job. Blah, blah. You just do. Just do the job. Mm -hmm. Don't miss the practice. Be at practice at time. Uh, always max effort. Uh, mm -hmm. the, this year was the motto, max out. Yeah. Every, every single time, every single time, be your target. Max out. Yeah. Every time. I've seen you post a couple times, uh, and we've I've seen it on different things, but you reposting it and saying it. Nobody cares. Work harder. Nobody cares. Work harder. Yep. Yep. Absolutely. It's a great Absolutely. Model. Absolutely. And I think you really embody that, and you really live your life like that, because I see you, and I mean, for people who don't realize this now, you're working full-time, Yeah. Right? I'm a lab engineer here in Germany. Yep. Lab engineer. Full-time job. Uh, you're at the gym damn near every day at what, 5 a.m.? 5.30. 5.30 a.m. 5.30. I try to be at 5.30 yep. and do my workout be going, uh, be before going to work. Yep. So until 7. Yep. Until 7 if I can. And uh, after that, go home, shower, breakfast, go home, yep. 8 hours, office. Work, come and then on and a come couple back. times, practice after. And the pra like on Wednesday and Friday during the week, uh, yep. uh, double, double, yep. double day. Double day. Double How day. do you feel after a long day like that? Oof. Uh, I touch the bed and I go <laughs> and I go that dead. He goes right to sleep, Mickey. <laughs> yeah, directly. Psh. Yeah, sometimes I like the first time, the first period that I was doing like five a.m. workout. Uh, yeah, it was uh, I, I was in bed at nine uh, nine o'clock. Yeah, nine o'clock. Why did you start 
working out in Be- the morning? In, because uh, I want to have more time uh, to spend uh, with my wife. Yeah, that's a great answer. You like that answer, Nikki? That's a real great <laughs> answer. Yeah, yeah because really uh, if I work out after, okay, I start at 7.30 yep. in the morning. Uh, I work uh, until like 5. Uh, and uh, if I have to go to the gym, uh, I have to go, I have to be at the gym like 5.30, 6. Uh, yeah. And sometimes uh, I started also because it was COVID time. Right. And uh, there were a max number of people uh, that can go in the gym yeah. simultaneously. And uh, sometimes I have to deal with, uh, oh, I forget to, to sign in. Say, you know what? I go if I am. Nobody, yeah. nobody is gonna be. There. Nobody's there. It's all to you every time. Yeah, every time. So you got in the habit of it. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I also right now I, yeah. I, I keep doing that because uh, I feel much, much better in uh, during the day. It's such a good way to start that, your day. That stopped, I think. Oh, did it? Oh, that might. Oh, it's still going. It's still okay. Going. It's just a backup. Um, yeah, I think that's such a good way to start your day. But, but what it's, it's amazing what you do because you are. Let's take this year for example. Mm-hmm. You wake up, you're working out early in the morning, you're going mm-hmm. to work all day, you come back, maybe have a little bit of time at home, you know, for an hour or so. And then D- go during to, during, practice, uh, during on practice, Wednesday? Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. Yeah, I have like one hour, where one hour 30, yeah. where I eat a little bit. Uh, I, I, when I when I start doing the workout, I, I also change my diet. Yeah, because you in change the morning, your diet. Uh, you I, I drop like 10 kilos yeah. uh, and, and more of body fat uh, percentage. Uh, because the the performance that I had uh, at the beginning uh, wasn't the one that I wanted, so mm-hmm. I asked a doctor, a medic, uh, uh, physician, nutritionist, nutritionist, nutritionist. nutritionist. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. forget the word. I asked a nutritionist to to improve my diet, and yeah. after that, uh, is I changed completely the energy level that I have during the day. Crazy, I, I still have energy. Like yeah. uh, after, if I, if I do a double uh, double workout day, uh, workout in the morning, practice uh, in the evening. Uh, I still have energy to wake up in the morning the next day at, uh, at five. That's so true. And, and, and around, I don't know if it was around the same time, but I changed my yeah, diet as yeah, well. And, yeah, and yeah. man, when you had when you dial in your nutrition, it's it's a game changer. Yeah, game it's changer. so important, game especially changer. as we get older. Like older guys are like us, yeah. plus thirty. Yeah, like plus, not, we're not twenty two. I'm gonna be in, I'm gonna be thirty two next thirty three next year. <laughs> Plus three, three, man. Uh, yeah, having the nutrition dialed in, and when you look at Absolutely. the um, the photo of you with the cigar in Patchwork compared to you now, crazy, yeah. crazy. Two thousand eighteen, it was. I think it was uh, one of my best uh, year as performance uh, yeah. uh, in general. But uh, after this year, when I was four years older. And uh, with less body fat and more muscle, yeah, it, w- it, w- it was crazy. Yeah. Like I see picture of 2021 uh, uh, at the beginning of 2020, 2021 at the beginning, it was fat. Yeah, but like, now you dialed it in, man. It's real good. Um, something I'm always curious about is after 2018 and like 2019, when you basically established yourself mm-hmm. as one of the top. O lineman, not only in Germany but in Europe. Thank you. And you could have, yeah, man. If I can go against you. It's it's annoying. <laughs> you could have gone to many different teams and made pretty damn good money. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Instead, you stayed and you did not get paid, mm-hmm. and stayed and played with the unicorns for these these few years. Why? We we really like Schwebischal. Schwebischal is uh, is a great place. We love it. Uh, we um, I'm from Milano. We are from Milano in Italy, and uh, when it's a very frenetic city, super super frenetic frenetic city. And uh, right now we have like uh, our it's quiet right now. It's yeah. uh, if you have to go to the gym, it's like two minutes, not one hour. So. On the money part, uh, I think that uh, right now that I have a good job, uh, I I don't care about the money yeah. of the being honestly being paid uh, one thousand euro for for a European online. Uh, if you don't have a good job, it's damn good. Yeah. So you do what what you like to do. You play football, your money. Yep. But uh, the lifespan of our online is. Uh, 15 years, 20 years, max. So you have like 
10, 10, we say, for example, 10 years of lifespan of good football. Yeah. And uh, you, know, you, you earn X money. Mm -hmm. And after that, well, what are you going to do for your life? Yeah. Uh, so I, I'm an, we are an engineer. I'm an engineer. So I say I prefer have uh, like a real good career and uh, not get paid, but have like a really good ca football career in a good team uh, as the unicorns uh, yeah. for and not get paid. Yeah, it's frustrating seeing like other line that are worse than me yeah. get getting paid more than no. much more than me. <laughs> but also, ten years is much more than zero. <laughs> yeah, and uh, and uh, it's frustrating. But uh, still, I have uh, two rings with the unicorns, uh, uh, GFL, two rings, uh, CFL. Yeah, um, I feel good. Yeah, I feel good. Good. Let's see. You have recently announced on Instagram yep. that you are not playing for the unicorns next year. Yep. 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 Can you tell me what is your current situation? Why you have decided to not play for the unicorns again? It was a uh, uh, heartbreaking decision, heartbreaking decision uh, because uh, I really love the unicorns and uh, we try to uh, improve the unicorns uh, on every aspect uh, as a captain and the leadership council uh, a group of people that uh, uh, is the connection between the team players a lot of the old players uh, and uh, the head coach so we had uh, this leadership council with uh, normally like one for each position because you have to be the voice of the player if something is wrong uh, you don't wait uh, months and months where small problems become become bigger and bigger problems that can ruin a season can ruin a season so every every time you have like a small problem you sp you, you speak with the, one of the leadership council and you talk with the coach for the problem so with the leadership council we try to improve the the unicorns uh, and the unicorns uh, hear us uh, and try to improve try to improve mm -hmm. the problem is uh, we try also to improve the league and that's the problem yep. where you were went against the wall mm -hmm. that, that there was yep. no, nothing yeah nothing stopped and uh, that's the the problem well like i said the, the, your lifespan as a, as a player is 20 years max yep. 15 years yeah, yeah. 15 years yeah ferrari and clubs uh, teams uh, can stand for 50 plus years and I hope the universe will last forever. Yeah. But my lifespan is this big and the universe lifespan is this big. Yeah. So for me, it was uh, that's, I that's what I understand when I, when I start playing football, that I move from my first team to, the, to another team. You have to take care also for yourself. I asked you this one time for um, a YouTube video a couple of years ago. I was asking all okay. my friends, what's the best piece of advice that you could give or that you've Did been giving. You, this, this and you said to me, the best piece is you have to take care of what's best for you yeah. first because yeah. if you don't, then you can't help anybody else. So I really like it's, that. I'm, I'm sad to, to leave the unicorns for, 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 for another team, but uh, I have to take care uh, about, uh, for, about myself and uh, I feel that I, that I have a lot left to give to the sorry for the to the to the football yeah but uh, i the level that I, we arrived with the with the gfl was not enough for me i want i wanted more i, I left italy to have more i will uh, i will leave the unicorns to have more yeah. because uh, if you play like half of the play of the game not because you are injured but because uh, it's right to also let other players when you're winning yeah. play I, why I have to wake up at five in the morning every day to be better in, w w in what I want to do when uh, the football is not giving back the same? Yeah, yeah. No, absolutely makes sense, and it's uh, the it, it's a selfish, uh, selfish uh, th thought. Thought. Yeah, I don't even. I don't think I would even call it that. I I'm would sorry. Just say it's I'm the reality. I, I, I'm, 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 I'm really sorry, but uh, yeah. it is what it is. I mean, you, you make so, so many sacrifices for football and to be able to play at the highest level. You already did it once by uprooting your whole life and coming to play in Germany in yep. the GFL where this was 
the highest level of football in Europe. Yep, yep. And now we see that the ELF is now the highest level of football in Europe. Yep. I mean, barring a couple top teams, but across the board, this is where you're going to have more competition week yep. to yep. week. And so, I mean, you already displayed the willingness to take on the challenge. Yep. And basically, you're just doing it again. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I love challenges. Yeah, you love challenges. I know. You haven't said yet uh, where you're playing next year. Uh, well, I know where I'm gonna play is not sure is not like defined yet everything no. okay it's not all defined yet no. no it's not defined yet do you have any idea when you will an, uh, announce publicly where, where you'll play you don't know no, no I don't know, I don't know. Yeah. two weeks one yeah. week uh, yeah. okay. I don't know I don't know yet honestly yeah. okay. I, uh, I want to define uh, or details uh, before yeah before you make some yeah. announcement yeah. Yeah. But can you say it will be in the ELF? Yeah, will be in the ELF. Yeah. Yes, yeah. yes. I and I will not go back to Italy. Yeah. Okay. This is some good clues. Um, man, I'm excited for you. I'm really excited because I've already seen the leaps that you've made, and now you've established yourself as one of the top in Europe. And to be able to once again be able to compete week in, week out against the top in Europe yeah. and have a new challenge. That that would make me... Yeah, man. Yeah, I know, I know. Because, like, you also, you had this uh, Italian challenge yeah. for a long time, and then we, yeah. we accomplished it. Obviously, yeah. that's happening again in another tournament, but yeah. you always need a challenge to pursue. Yeah. yeah. And if you don't have that, you know, you can kind of get lost. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And uh, the I, I read a book this year, The Can't Hurt Me, from David Goggins. Goggins. I was uh, I was reading this uh, on uh, on the seaside uh, and uh, I had already my workout done and I read the page reading page reading page read page 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 page, page. I, I finished the book <laughs> and I was like uh, every day I want to like to do more yeah. to do more 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 why 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 are you waiting for something to happen just do that make it happen make it happen what's what's one of the best lessons that you took from that book. I mean, there's probably so many. Can you give there me? Are, there are there are a lot of uh, like uh, there is this forty uh, percent rule that that's the the forty percent rule that uh, that you can apply in every aspect of life, uh, and uh, it is uh, that when you feel like tired at the end, uh, you are only at forty percent, and you have sixty percent left in the tank. Yeah. And, and Mind-blowing. Mind-blowing. And, uh, of course, Taking Souls uh, was uh, one of my favorites uh, because uh, when you're competing with someone, that, that's when you compete with someone else. So you want to uh, prevaricare. Impose, impose yourself. Impose, impose yourself. And uh, you want to do that in the, in the most cruel way possible and uh, so uh, not trash talking but uh, because during the game I want to I want to 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 keep the breath uh, on uh, on for me not to, to waste on trash yeah, talking I know it <laughs> because I want to do like the fourth quarter in the fourth quarter is when you want to put the uh, the pedal to the metal pedal to the metal twist ah. the knife yeah yeah absolutely so I don't trash talk during the game yep and uh but uh, you do, yeah, pancake, bam, bam. Pancake is the, wor is the worst thing that can happen uh, to a, a defensive line or a linebacker yeah. or a cornerback. You had a couple nice ones, at least, in the German ball I saw. I what had the, uh, first the, the first play, uh, the first play I had like a huge pancake. It was like, like 12. Defensive end, 12 yard downfield. Uh, and after that, I, I throw him in the ground and I, and I kind of jump on him because uh, he was trash talking before the game. Yes, he was. It was. A, he's a former Italian player. He's yeah. a, an Italian player. Never been. Uh, he, he never was in the national team, and uh, he took uh, took a trash uh, to our to me and our other Italian uh, teammates, and I took it personal. And you took care of it. Yeah. <laughs> and I and not o not only me, all the all line yeah, yeah. and highlights against this guy. Man, it's crazy. <laughs> And I took that shit personal. Have you seen Absolutely. the Michael Jordan meme? Absolutely. You know? yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. The Last Dance? The Last Dance. Oh, you Crazy. you also mentioned that you love yeah. The Last Dance yeah. and the Michael Jordan mentality. Yeah. And his, okay. his he was hated by, by all his teammates because yeah. uh, he want every time more, more, more from everyone. Mm -hmm. And uh, at certain point, so Kobe, 
Kobe. Yeah, same like type of mentality. Same, same type of mentality. Like, you want always more. And uh, it doesn't care. I don't care. They don't care if you, you are hated from your teammate. But lead by example. So you say something. They did what they talking about. Uh, and they don't care. Yeah. They go for like a, like a rule of compressor. Like a... Like a John machine uh, when yeah. you like uh, the one with the, the big roll that go over the the stones. Uh, oh yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. What's uh, man? What's... What is that called? Some sort of flattener. I should know this. <laughs> My English is not so good. <laughs> anyway, like uh, they, they don't care. Like a, yeah. like a a tank. Yeah, like a tank. There you like go. a tank. They yeah. go over. Yeah. And uh, that's uh, I don't want to be because uh, it's not a professional sport. Uh, it's not uh, like uh, uh, I don't want to be an asshole. Yeah, yeah. I really like uh, being like surrounded from from good environment you do a great job of this of having this mentality in a way and and being tenacious and more 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 but not being an and getting the best out of your teammates but not being an it's not it's not easy yeah. it's not easy because sometimes i'm get really frustrated yeah why, you, yeah. why you're yeah. not doing that yeah but but i keep it for myself uh, and explain also to nikki and uh, she's on uh, He's, uh, <laughs> come down, come down. <laughs> good job Nikki. <laughs> keeping him sane and uh, yeah thank you thank you appreciate Amazing, it man appreciate it Alessandro Vergani it's been an absolute pleasure talking to you pleasure on the podcast, was mine man. Really pleasure was mine it. thank you and it's been an honor being your teammate on the field and your friend off and I'm excited for what the future holds for you wait 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 wait, wait. Yeah. what are you gonna do to, uh, what are you gonna do <sighs> next year that I, you say before I did say you can ask me questions. I can ask questions. I did, you did, and, I did uh, say that. Are, do you have any plans? Uh? Uh, I have some ideas in my mind, but okay. I am not certain yet. I'm back and forth on a lot of things. Yeah. It's very possible that I will retire from playing. Okay. Except okay. for... Because you are old. Okay. Because I am old, disgustingly old. Mm -hmm. I can't even imagine mm -hmm. being uh, older than this. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so very, I could maybe I retire from playing and only play the national team games. Okay. This might be something I do, but okay. I don't know yet. You, because you want to play with uh, with your brother. Could be. Yeah. Could be. It'd be really. Cool. It's gonna be is super cool. I yeah, think. Be really cool. And uh, guys, if you didn't see yet, uh, Unicorns Town. There we go. It was amazing. They did before I arrive, uh, and. Uh, uh, but I snuck a shot of you in there. A couple of shots uh, and. Uh, Honestly, it was crazy. Like seeing what happened before I arrive and uh, goosebumps, guys. Goosebumps. Thanks, Thanks Alan. And you got to check out the uh, the mini 30 minute doc about us winning the Italian national. Uh, the, the national what are you waiting yeah. for, guys? It's on the YouTube channel. The, it's in the description. The, the um, documentary about the challenge the the travel yeah. uh, wh wh oh, what's the title it's titled the unlikely champions of europe and it's the story amazing of amazing yeah that's a good one thanks ally want to see no, it yeah, touch I it to there it is i i designed this <laughs> you did we, we designed <laughs> we designed uh, design. we designed this and uh you know I, I wear this every day while I'm editing just because I like put it on and I give myself like a it makes me focus good vibes on good boost. vibes yeah I wear it so often it's really it's really amazing there it is Alessandro Vergani thank you my friend good stuff ciao guys ciao guys beautiful Ale that was good that was so good man